That loser, was she ever on Hollywood Squares? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Dr. Brothers, I have read every one of your books. The language of feeling. That's David Viscott. <laughs> the 10 stupid things women do. Laura Schlesinger. <laughs> You're much taller in person. Dr. Ruth. <laughs> well, enough about you. Tick tock, ka ching, ka ching. <laughs> Now, the reason why I made this appointment for Mr. Sheffield... What? Wait a minute. You mean you brought me here under false pretenses? You know, I told Gracie that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Oh. I don't need any bloody therapy. Oh, no, you don't. Are you Maxwell <laughs> Sheffield, the Broadway producer? Yes, that's right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy man, so I'll... I just loved your new show. I thought the reviews were completely off the mark. Well, I suppose I could stay for a little while. Wow, you are good. For your information, I have written ten bestsellers. Let it go, Joyce. <laughs> now, why are we here? Well, the fact is, Dr. Brothers, there's nothing wrong with me. My, my last show failed, so I've just been in a little bit of a bad mood lately, that's all. Huh? A bad mood. You have been biting everyone's head off left and right. Watch this. <laughs> I sat on some junior mints on your new suede chair. You what? <laughs> Can you believe what I have to live with? Do you know what your problem is? You don't know how it feels to fail at something you've put so much effort into. Oh, yeah? Well, you know that new suede chair with the junior mint stain? I tried to color in the rest with brown magic marker. <laughs> A huge failure. <laughs> Happy? Look, I don't know why everyone wants to make such an issue out of this. The fact is, I just have to come to grips with the fact that I am 42 years old. And despite having every opportunity money can buy, my life has amounted to zip. Oh, Mr. Sheffield! Let him go. He's just going through a little midlife crisis. It's very common among men his age. Oh, you know, I've read about that. Next thing you know, he'll be trying to prove his virility in the arms of the next gorgeous young thing to cross his path. <laughs> Out of my way, Joyce. <laughs> Oh, this book is fascinating. It chronicles the stages of your life by decades. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Women in their 30s often lie about their age. Oh, I know so many women like that. Mm. <laughs> Here's me, the 20s. <laughs> oh, Niles, how did you handle midlife crisis back when you were in your 40s? <laughs> I think I killed someone who lied about being in their 20s. You two are not going to believe this. I got a message on my answering machine. Oh, my God, crack the champagne. <laughs> I am so happy for you, dear. Very funny, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Maxwell is quitting the theater. Oh, he is a classic textbook case. If Maxwell leaves the theater, what am I going to do? Oh, you were born rich. Retire. Go spend time with all your friends, and when you come back, you can lick the spoon. <laughs> oh, look, Dr. Brothers said it'll probably pass. I mean, at least it's not like when my father went through his midlife crisis. He wanted Ma to get into swinging. What happened? Well, the other swingers saw them. <laughs> Hey, Max! What do you say we hit our records, eh? Cruise the bins. Oh, help me, help me so much. <clears throat> Mr. Sheffield. Maggie cannot go to the record store because I caught her smoking and drinking. What? You are grounded for three weeks, young lady. Oh, thank you, Dad. <laughs> 